You're listening to the Talk Tales and Trivia Podcast, where your host Stephanie talks about an enlightening topic in pop culture. Talk Tales and Trivia starts right now. Hello! <laughs> this is Stephanie, Talk Tales and Trivia. How are you doing this hump day, this Wednesday? Some people do not know what hump day is. It's not an expression we use that much anymore. So I thought I would start out by saying it's Wednesday, the middle of the week. That was a day that we always looked forward to when I was growing up. This week is all about my love of sugar. And I'm not the only one. I don't think so. Of course, I'll tell you a small tale for this episode just to start out is that when I was eight years old, I had 12 cavities. That's right. I loved sugar. Non-chocolate candy such as candy corn, Valentine's Sweethearts, Payday candy bars, Swedish fish, which lately you can only find in the airport, marshmallow, anything, pixie sticks, bubble gum, taffy. There's a whole load of sweetness that I love. That's not chocolate. But now let's talk about the chocolate stuff that I love. Butterfingers, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, M&M's, Dove Chocolate, Peppermint Patties, Fudge. Ah, I love it all. And so September has a special meaning for me. It really does. Because September, usually the first week in September, starts a special season for me. It's fall. Labor Day's over. It's getting cozy again. The winter months are coming the breezes, the autumn. It's lovely. It's Malamar season. That's right. If you don't know what Malamar season is, then you've been missing out. And so that's what we're going to talk about primarily during this episode is one of my favorite seasons or a part of one of my favorite seasons. You see, 85% of all Malamars are sold in the New York metropolitan area which is why you maybe haven't really heard of them. They are produced entirely in Canada at a factory in Scarborough, Ontario. They are as old as the Federal Reserve System and Camel cigarettes. But what are they? What are Mellomars? In 1913, 105 years ago, the marshmallowy dark chocolate goodness was founded, and it was both non-chocolate and chocolate ingredients. A win-win for me. Malamars, well, the name alone is almost enough to trigger a blissful sugar coma. This confection of graham cracker and marshmallow dipped in chocolate is a seasonal favorite. And you might say that it sounds similar to the s'more, but it's not. Who needs that hot s'more and that bonfire? Not me. I love to just sit in my recliner with something warm to drink and a box of Malamars that I don't share with anybody else. Oh no, 55 calories a cookie and 18 cookies a box. I think I can handle that. You see, Malamars are generally available from early September through March or April, depending on the weather. They are not distributed during the summer months, originally because there were no refrigerated trucks and the chocolate would melt. Nabisco decided only to have Malamars come out from September to April, the cooler months. But then, of course, our innovative country came out with vehicles that had refrigeration in them. And there was no excuse, but they kept with that marketing tradition. Everybody loved waiting for their Malamars. And so to this day, it's still the same. And it works. Well, devoted eaters of the cookie have been known to stock up. Just like Girl Scout cookies, we stock up on Malamars. Yes, people buy them by the droves and stick them in the freezer for the summer months that they can't get them. I've actually been in a line at the grocery store and have seen men and women buy 10 or 12 packs of Malamars to freeze for the months that they can't get them. That's how dedicated and devoted we are to our Malamars. A graham cracker circle is overlain 
with extruded marshmallow, then coated in a thin shell of dark chocolate. It is true, although Nabisco markets other chocolate-coated cookie brands year-round, there is nothing, and I mean nothing, nothing, like a Malamar. The next thing I want to talk about is a close second. It's kind of a tie and that's cookie dough. Now, I wouldn't normally be talking about cookie dough at all, but I found a wonderful thing the other day when I went to the grocery store, which doesn't happen that often, the sign that read, edible cookie dough. Wow. I thought to myself, this has to be the best day of my life. It really was. And so I have become addicted all over again with cookie dough. Who has had cookie dough? Raise your hand. Who's raising your hand right now? (laughs) I am. I love cookie dough. Well, it started with ice cream, of course, but now it's just the cookie dough. It's that good and that addictive. I'd love to know if you've had a Malamar and what your opinion is of the Malamar. You can always reach me at TalkTalesAndTrivia at gmail.com. We're on Facebook as TalkTalesAndTrivia. We're on Twitter as TalkTalesETC. Instagram, TalkTalesAndTrivia. We're on Spotify, Talk Tales and Trivia. The list goes on, TalkTalesAndTrivia.com. You can listen to this episode again, or share it, or listen to past episodes, which is always fun. I hope that you have enjoyed this sweet episode of Malamars and Cookie Dough. See ya!